Well, hey there, YouTubers. Welcome to the Road Google Garage. Today we are working on this plasma table. I've uh, got some of it disassembled here. I got some of the parts painted up. I uh, want to start putting some of these back together slightly before I get into disassembling the rest of this. So let's just get into it and see if we can get this thing working. So this piece right here, and this guy right here, these are actually like the first two pieces I cut out with this table. I don't have it on camera. But yeah, I just I wanted to cut this piece out just to hold my mast in place. And uh, well, I cut it out before I got it painted. So I didn't get that on video. Whew, I gotta pause for a Gatorade break. Or a Powerade, I should say. Cheers, Jeff. So that was some high speed plasma table building, but we have a machine finally together. So uh, let's see if this thing can do some cutting. Okay, let's see what it does this time. Yeah, no problem. So the plans for this plasma table came with the G code. Uh, this is the JD Garage little logo thingy there. Uh, so this was uh, the first thing I actually cut out on this machine. Uh, the piece of steel I was using was a little bit too small, so it kind of missed part of the cut at the top there. Uh, but yeah, this was just a trial run anyhow. and. Uh, I learned I didn't have the water tray on at this time because the machine wasn't painted and I didn't want to get things rusty so I was just dry cutting it and I found that the it is fairly messy when you don't have the water pan on there you get a lot of dust and debris and uh, lots of sparks flying all over in the garage so uh, it's a lot nicer when you have the water pan on but like I say this was just a, a first try and it was pretty successful. So I've been uh, playing with Fusion 360, uh, trying to learn how to build some parts on there and uh, turn them into G-codes. This was uh, my little mass holder that I uh, designed on here. Um, this is a part I designed quite a while ago when I first bought the plans for this machine. It's not, it's not anything that I need for anything, but it was just strictly practice with Fusion 360. And then this was a, a part that I designed again I, I sourced this out i had someone make this for me because uh, i couldn't do it on my little lathe but yeah i just used 360 again just for practice and just to help uh, the guy who was going to make it for me and then i made this guy again a long time ago as well uh just playing around trying to learn how this thing works and managed to turn that into a g-code and get it cut out and here I was trying to play with the trace feature. I wasn't very successful with it, so I'll have to keep practicing on that one. Hopefully I can get it figured out. Okay, so <clears throat> shortly after I built this machine, this is a design I did uh, on Fusion 360. It's a little Road Google uh, YouTube push button start there. Uh, I just recently changed into a G-code and let's see how this machine cuts this out. I know I probably have to play a lot with my speeds and stuff like that, but... Uh, this is uh, one of the first trial cuts. Let's see what she does.
doing this. <laughs> Should have waited a couple more minutes. Pretty cool, though, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna go work. So you are gonna go for That, there's a tool I designed on Fusion 360 and then we managed to cut it out on here. Uh, yeah, it's basically just a, it's gonna be a, a drill gauge. Oops. So yeah, that turned out pretty good too. Same thing, like, wow, like that's, those cuts. It's actually not that hot. Oh yeah, no, she's pretty warm. <laughs> those cuts turned out really nice. I'm pretty pleased with that and uh, the roundness is good. I think I got the speed pretty darn close, man. Like, I'm pretty happy with that. It's it's not 100%. I can see that it's still off a wee bit, but it's really darn close. So this is what I designed this tool for. This is a Mazda Miata hub, and people often say these are four by four bolt pattern. They're actually not, they're four by, 100 millimeter which is very very close but it's a little bit off so I mean <clears throat> you can get a 4x4 rim bolted on there but it's not centered properly and the like the lugs won't sit in the wheels properly so I basically made this guy it's a little template it's very snug I made this little template that'll slide over the Miata hub. That gets seated on there. Now these are actually four by four holes. You can use a transfer punch and I can just drill those and move my lug. And then it'll actually fit a four by four properly. So I was looking around my garage for some steel to use some cheaper stuff and different thickness stuff because I definitely want to get some practice cuts in with this thing. I want to, uh, you know, try a few different speed rates and try to get this thing down packed. So when I do actually start making parts that I'm planning on using that uh, the accuracy is pretty, pretty close to what I want. And uh, so far, like I say, everything's pretty successful. This piece turned out not too bad. Uh, very little dross and, and stuff on there, like the edges are nice. And uh, the next piece that I cut on here I, uh, it was a painted piece that I didn't bother to clean the paint off. I just wanted to see what it would do. And the torch, you can see here, does not like the paint with all the sparks flying off there. And there was lots of debris on the tip of the torch. I'm lucky I didn't blow up the tip. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't suggest cutting something that's got paint on it. So there you have it. This is a functioning plasma table now. I gotta give a huge thanks to Jeff and Jackson from JD's Garage. I would have never thought in a million years I'd have a plasma cutter in my garage. Uh, especially one that I uh, assembled myself. So if you're interested in owning a machine like this for yourself, go to JD's Garage YouTube channel, pick up a set of plans, and build one. It's not that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. Uh, I hope to get a lot of use out of this thing. I have some upcoming projects that I want to build, and this thing is going to come in super handy, so I'm pretty excited about it. So anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I'd just like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like, give it a subscribe, and keep on coming back for more. All right, I'm Dick Greasy and have a good one.